Welcome back to Homa Studio, and we're going to connect or not connect to our MySQL database using Flask. And we're going to do a little test before we actually display our finished database on our page. So we want to do a test first just to make sure we're connecting. And we already did that in the console, but we want to do that on the page so we get some feedback on our front end. So what we're going to do after we finished up with this and just going over the roots a little bit, we want to open up well we could go over here and go to files and open this up in a new tab and I'm going to be copying our connect code and putting it into here I'll go into my flask directory and I'll go into connect now notice I have a main two and that's what I do when I test things I put it in another file then I bring it back into main but I'm going to go to connect because that's where we initially connected and we made sure we had all our information from our database so we're going to get our information from there and bring it into our main.py so we have this import MySQL connector. We have this down here. We're not even going to worry about this because this is displaying on the page. So I'm not going to worry about this yet. I'm just going to bring in this stuff. So I'm going to bring in this right now and I'll just copy it. So we need this connector for Python and that's not Flask. So that'll be separate. So I'm going to copy that and I'll just go back to main.py and I'll just get rid of this. We don't need a contact me page and I'm gonna put it after this and I'll paste it here okay now obviously this import should be up here so I'm gonna cut this import line now it's not gonna be a comma here and say comma my SQL selector because it's not part of flask it's part of Python so it'll go under here so we'll put that here so we now have that driver that we can use and what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a function so we're gonna do a, a function called def uh, let's just call it check DB connection and I'll hit return and then this will be inside here so we need our parentheses here so that's gonna be our function to check the connection and I'm just gonna backspace and then hit return to just see where it lines up and then I'll tab everything over so we have a function now that's connecting to the database that's separate from this that is actually our connection which is represented by this variable con which we're not even going to use right now now what we're going to do next is we're going to do a try and accept so that we can see what happens if there's an error or if there's not an error so we're going to try this connection so we're going to use the try and if you're not familiar with try and accept go to w3 schools and look up try and accept and that's kind of designed for errors so if that if there's an error it will give you an error code so we're gonna go here and do try and again I'm gonna go up here backspace and hit enter and then we'll tab everything over and then what's gonna happen at the end of this and I'll move this over too. this should be over so I'll keep that all in here and what I'll do if this if it's connected successfully is we're gonna say return true then we're going to do not an else but we're going to do an accept so I'm going to do accept and I'm going to move this over line it up with try and what we're going to do is we're going to do accept and we can use this this again this is a, a built-in function the connect which is part of MySQL we're going to use this again except we're not going to use connect we're going to use something called error now usually when you see this you'll see it as E now we're not going to use the E right now because it's a little bit of a problem sending this because it's gonna go from one function to another and we'll deal with that later but right now we could just use this line for now but we'll put a colon here so this again this is if an error comes up now this is built in I didn't make this up I didn't make up error I didn't make up connect that's part of the MySQL connect and error functions that are built into MySQL and built into the MySQL connector driver so basically if there's an error now we could display an error but since we're putting it on the page we're not going to worry about the actual error we're just going to tell it if it's connecting or not so what I'll do here we'll just say return false for now because we have return true if it works and return false that way we could display on the page if something's true if something's false and I think what I'll do instead of hello world I'll just call this index because we're going to be creating an index page right now we're not creating it it's just being generated but we'll call this def index because this will go into our main page so we'll call this def index and eventually we're going to use something called a template 
which we'll have to add here. We'll render a template and we'll put our own HTML in there. And what we'll do right now is we'll create a variable that says is connected. Now I'm making this up, this variable, but you'll see this. This is something you'll see if you look at examples, people will use this, so it's kind of standard. But I'll set up this variable and basically I'll put check underscore db connection. This variable will represent whatever's returned from this function, which should be either true or false. So, so we do need the parentheses here. And what we'll do is we'll kind of set something up, an if-else statement. Just keep it real simple so that if it's true, it'll display one thing. And if it's false, it'll display another. And again, I'm trying to keep this as simple as possible so we don't get too deep into this right now because we really want to display it on the page. We're not worried about errors and stuff like that. We can troubleshoot that a little bit more as we go. But for now, let's just make sure we're connected or not. So I'm going to go down here and put if... And then I'll just put is connected. Now we don't have to put anything is true. We could just put if is connected. That means it's connected, it's true. So that means this exists. So is connected, the variable exists. So again, if it's returning true, then this variable will represent true. So we're gonna hit enter here and I'll backspace this. So what are we gonna return if it's connected? Uh, we could probably put something like successfully connected. Now we could put HTML in here. If you wanted to put H1 or something like that, now we don't have all our HTML stuff, but we could do that. We could just throw that in there for now, you know, and put a color or anything like that. You could put it in red. You could put an internal style. Now we don't want to get into all that because we don't want to be putting that in this function. We want to be putting that on our page, but I'll just throw that in there for now. Or maybe I'll do an H2 and see how that looks. And just to make sure it works. So if is connected, if that exists, if that's true, then it should say successfully connected. Now, if not, that would be an else. And I'll just backspace here and I'll put else. And then we're going to return. I'll copy this, paste it here, and we'll return not connected. Put it in caps. So it's really a stern warning here that we're not connected. So let's see how this works. Now, make sure everything here is accurate to start. And, and again, It'd be nice if you could put successfully connected to your database name and put the error down here. But right now we have a little bit of a challenge because we're trying to take something from one function and put it inside another function and then that creates a scope issue. So we'll deal with scope issues later because that's just going to add more code and we just want to keep it simple for now. We just want to make sure you're connected to your database so we can display our SpongeBob table on the page. So let's see if this works. Now what do we have to do? We have to save it. And when you do that, you might get little warnings that might come up over here. Now, this looks correct. I have warnings here. Let me see what it's saying here. Variable E is never being used. Variable con is not being used. But everything else looks okay. So I think this is okay. Despite this message, I'm not sure what's happening here. I might have to refresh everything, log back in if you ever have a problem. It seems to be running slow. But what I do want to do is go here and reload this. And then I want to go here and refresh it. Successfully connected. That's what I want to see. Okay, now you want to test if it doesn't work as well. So if you go here, and hopefully I won't have that same issue, uh, I'm going to go here and just mess up my password, and then I'll save. Okay, it looks like it's saved because I'm seeing my warnings here, because warnings will usually display here after you're saved. So let's see what happens now. I'm still going to run this again because I did change my PY file. So I'm going to always reload this because that should run the function again. And I should get a not connected right now. Not connected. Okay, so it's working. So we're able to connect and not connect. Now we're not being really specific about error codes and all that. We're not creating a new index page or anything like that. We're just doing a try and accept, true and false, and then saying if it's connected, uh, return this, and if it's not, return that. And it's still generating a default index page. We're going to make our own index page using root in our next video. So that'll be in our ninth video. This is our eighth video. So we'll be actually starting to display information on our page and creating our own index page in the next video. So if you did this, this is okay. We could still troubleshoot putting error messages in here and doing different things with this and also trying to see if we can combine this on the same page as our index. But what we're going to do next is start displaying our information on our page. So thanks for watching. Home Studio, Flask, MySQL, in Python, anywhere. Mm -hmm.